Hey friends, I hope you had a wonderful Thanksgiving and I hope you have a great Christmas and New Year's as well. We actually went and got our Christmas tree the other day and so we took both dogs uh, to the Christmas tree farm and of course everyone was just all over them giving them love and attention and all of that. But so let's go ahead and jump into this update video. I'll go in order of importance. So very first thing on the list is a new Q&A video. So the topic for this one is going to be dogs, backpacking with dogs. And so if you have questions as far as hiking, backpacking, camping with dogs, please go ahead and drop those in the comment section of this video. If it's a longer question, you can also send it to my email. And uh, kind of after the holiday season, so I'll give about a month for you guys to submit your questions. And then after New Year's, maybe the second or third week of January, go ahead and share my responses to all of your questions in that video. So, like I said, you can drop your questions in the comments or email them to me. It was a lot of fun getting to respond to all of the questions that you guys came up with for that first Q&A video. And so I thought, let's go ahead and do one centered around the dogs. They are such an important part of my backpacking trips and just this hiking channel in general, so why not uh, make it about them? The next kind of update is I have unlaunched my Patreon page. It's not like a real word, like if you type that in on anything else, it gives you the incorrect like little red underline that this isn't a word, choose a better word. But according to the platform, that is the correct term for it. You unlaunched your page. So that's what I did for a variety of reasons. So Patreon is really popular. A lot of people use it as a way to um, gain support for the things that they do, whether they're an artist, podcaster, YouTube channel, blogger, you name it. Kind of the way that they gain support and uh, kind of monetize their content. And so it's a great platform for a lot of people. It's just not what I'm looking for. It's, it's just not working for me. I've given it a good six month trial run and decided that I'd like to look into other options. More on that in just a minute or two. So the Black Mountain Crest and Linville Gorge, both of those videos are now posted. They've been out for, I don't know, a couple weeks now. And with that, this is the thing that I said I was gonna get back to, uh, I have made my itineraries available through my website. And so think of it as a donation to my backpacking channel slash blog. And in exchange, you get all of this great information. I compiled pretty much all of the hard work I did to plan the routes for these trips all in one neatly organized document. Obviously, this is not a substitute for doing your own research and planning and preparing, but it really helps to take the guesswork out of it and gives you kind of a framework and the different resources to look into to execute this trip for yourself or even just take bits and pieces from it to come up with your own route or a trip that best suits you. Like I said, it's one document and I like to think that I've included a lot of value in this. Um, unlike a general trip report or kind of trail journal, I try to go more in detail as far as what the camping options are, what the water source options are, and include pictures that I took while on the trail. Also, um, an entire resources page with links to all of the posts and articles and trip reports, pretty much all of the stuff that I used and helped me to plan my route. I give you the easy access, the quick link to it to go check out for yourself. Uh, I also include links to maps for the area, whether it's one that you can get for free on an app or one that you can uh, purchase from a company that uh, made a map for that area. Just Whatever I used, I give you links to. Here's how you can get access to it and then plan your trip. There's also information about parking and trailheads, like those logistics. I don't know if you're like me, but one of the most, um, I don't want to say stressful or just anxious. Those words are a little bit too strong, but I guess one of the 
biggest concerns I always have when it comes to a backpacking trip is the parking availability or the trailhead, like how far away is the trailhead from the parking and just those kind of details. Because there are some trips, like the Black Mountain Crest, which are notorious for having uh, just terrible trailhead parking. And so I go into the details of what I did and what your options are and even include pictures of and step-by-step -step details as far as parking on that specific trip. Um, which to some folks, if you don't know all of that and then you show up and you figure out like, oh, uh, there's no room, there's nowhere to park here. That can be pretty uh, frustrating and stressful. So know before you go, I give you all of the info. So just taking the guesswork out of it and at a pretty reasonable exchange, I think. So right now, both of those itineraries on my website are $3. So for your suggested donation of $3, you get a downloadable copy of just all of that information. So that is a thing that I'm doing and I've gotten some really good feedback from the couple of people who have actually uh, gotten the itinerary so far. And I'm going back and doing the same thing for a couple previous trips. So the gorgeous state park trip I did with Barrett in the spring, I'm gonna go ahead and make up a nice itinerary for that with all of the information as well as for the Palmetto Foothills Loop. And same thing, just three bucks, and I give you my wealth of backpacking knowledge in exchange for your generous support. Next order of business is my next trip video. Not Kings Mountain to Crowder's Mountain. Uh, already did a video talking about that. That should be out within like a week, and it may even be out now, depending on when I you know, get this video uploaded. But so in December, I've got the exact date. I put it in the newsletter, Standing Indian Loop. That trip video is gonna be coming out and I am very excited to share this one with you because I'm just so, I'm so pleased with the way the footage came out. This is a loop on the Appalachian Trail and it's usually a green tunnel and not a lot to see, but going in late fall, early winter, we were treated to a red and gold tunnel and you know those winter views peeking through and just overall a very very beautiful route very beautiful trip and Barrett went with me on that one overall just a very laid-back kind of trip there were some very exciting moments but uh, I've said before that my dogs have very different personalities when it comes to hiking and he's just kind of laid back he's lower energy more like the camper and not so much the hiker and so he was such a good fit to enjoy this hike and just go at our own pace and take on this 25 ish mile loop over you know three days and so that video will be coming out december something and uh i really hope you enjoy it there will be an itinerary for that and just a brief trip report post and our last thing to talk about today in this update video is the question that you're always looking to have answered that's what's next so for winter in the past i really have not had an interest in winter backpacking or winter hiking i hate the cold but i have invested in some cold weather gear, like just the basics to dip my toe in and see if I enjoy it. And then if I don't, then it's not the biggest deal. This gear can still be used in other seasons. But so uh, thanks to Cyber Monday deals, I was able to get uh, a pretty good price on things like a zero degree sleeping bag. So I'm gonna test out the Marmot Never Summer zero degree bag. Uh, if you have that bag and you don't like it, don't tell me, like let me figure out for myself. But I've also gotten some heavier weight base layers. Mountain Hardware makes a quilted skirt. And I've also got some winter boots coming in the mail, things like that. So I'm gonna just try it out. And I would like to camp or backpack in the snow, nothing too crazy, more like just an overnight or uh, base camp, hike out just a couple miles to get my feet under me, get an idea of what I'm doing and just kind of um, see if it's something that I would enjoy doing in future years. As for spring, I've got quite a few ideas. As always, nothing set in stone, just 
things that have piqued my interest. Just to name a few, uh, Byers Creek Rim Trail and maybe even the Chunky Gal Trail, which is connected to it. Um, Grayson Highlands, I've kind of mapped out a 30 mile loop using the Appalachian Trail. That could be possible. I get lots of recommendations to go and check out that area. There's also shorter single track trails like the Chattooga Trail or the Uari Trail. Those are 40 milers, both of them, that would be pretty easy to do in, you know, a weekend or on a three-day weekend, something like that to kind of knock out. But most of all, like if I could pick one trip to be like top priority and uh, one that I 100% can make happen, that would be the Grand Loop in Linville Gorge. I just enjoyed that southern 20-mile loop, the Is That All You Got loop, so much that I cannot wait to see what that northern half of it, that 20 miles that makes up the upper part of that Grand Loop, what's in store there. Um, and I now have an idea of what to expect as far as difficulty and terrain, and it'd be fun to revisit uh, the part of the loop that I had such a good time with and Jordan nearly died on, and uh, also see a new part of the wilderness area I've not seen before. So Grand Loop would be just, like I said, if I can make that my top priority trip, I probably will. So that's kind of an overview of it. Just trips that have caught my eye that I'm looking into. So I thank you so much if you have stayed to the end of the update video. Just a reminder, we're going to do a Q&A in January. The topic is hiking and backpacking with dogs. Drop your questions in the comments section of this video or email them to me. Also, if you would like to check out the itineraries, for Black Mountain Crest and Linville Gorge. I'll give you the link in the description to go and check that out on my website. And you can expect to see an itinerary for Gorges State Park, Standing Indian, Palmetto Foothills Loop. I'm working on all of those simultaneously and those will be up in the very, very near future uh, for you to check out as well if you're interested. And lastly, the Standing Indian Loop video will be premiering December whatever the date that I've forgotten is. And uh, yeah, I hope you have a great rest of your day and I can't wait to see you again next time. Tracing my footsteps through the wind Back to a place where I